40 acres. You've got to get it first like with these big, big lakes because A, you want to be a spot fish. B, it takes quite a long time to get all that on the boat. 500 meters there. Last time we were here, it was snowing hard. It's 50 cormorants, 500 meters. I've had a good look round. Nowhere else is very inspiring. Last time, you could see the bottom here. Same time of year, lovely algal bloom, which has kept the weed growth down massively, which is obviously, I think, an advantage. A lot of people would say, oh, what about the fry? Well, you'll see there's actually more recruitment in here now than I've seen before. Along that tree line is absolutely ridiculously full of one inch uh, roach and bream fry. And uh, yeah, we've all got opinions about that, but I, I prefer lakes, especially lakes this big, when it's the same as other lakes we work at, where they've got, um, where you've got decent algal blooms on them. I think they're really productive rather than just full of weed, but yeah, got a lot of net here, so I might as well use it. This is always a trick when you've got you know, huge amounts of net, you're judging. You don't, there's no point in getting back with 100 metres left on the boat, but at the same time, you don't want to be uh, stuck out here <laughs> with no net. It's a bit embarrassing, but normally get it right. Then you go fairly close to this island. The trick as well is with so much gear in the water, you're investing an awful lot of time shooting one net and bringing it in. It takes most of the day to get this in. Well, two o'clock-ish I reckon it'll be in, but you've only got half four and it's dark, so... Um, got to be sensible. But yeah, if, if I went right close to this, we're not trying to catch carp, we're trying to catch silvers. We know the carp in here, we caught loads last time. It's been fishing really well, but at the end of the day, the, this, if I go too close to that island or and I catch a load of bits of tree that have in, no doubt they fell off there over the winter, you know, I'm going to drag all that in. And yes, the nets are really, really deep, but at the same time, um, you don't want to be risking snagging up the net. So, yeah, it's all good. It's always nice out here. Last night I was here, I couldn't see anything when I was out here. It was a blizzard. It was beast from the east. We were right bang in the middle of it. And I couldn't see a thing. I was shouting at Ben to try and gauge where he was walking along that margin. You couldn't really see anything, to be honest. It was, it was quite crazy, but... Uh, yeah, so I've got 150, I've got 200 off, so I've got 300 left. So I've still got more than half. So as I come around here, I can take most of this. And we know, again, it helps. I wouldn't do this blind, i.e. if I hadn't done this before, bearing in mind I'm going to end up down there and walk along that dam, um, I'd have walked along there, make sure A, I can walk along there, and B, you know, it's not too snaggy, etc. Otherwise, again, you've had it. You know, if I just go out here having not done it before and just end up over there you can really shoot yourself in the foot thinking well that's not ideal because you're going to um, potentially have snags all sorts but no it's pretty pretty good when you've done a lake before especially done the same sweep before you, you obviously get a bit of a feel for it so and again when you've got this amount of net on the on the boat it's got to come off properly we see so many people do do it in such strange ways they make it so hard for themselves you think, well, what are you doing? Why are you doing it like that? You know, but it's not hard. Everyone catches a few. So I'm quite a long way from the boys now. Another little thing we do as well is there's so many tiny fish. I mean, this is 14 mil mesh, which we use for massive sweeps. Um, but uh, there's a lot of tiny, tiny, tiny fry all along that bank. And we are going to try and get some of them out. They're no good to anyone. There's millions in here and they'll keep being millions in here. So we just need to try and get them out. So what we'll do, that net on the very end is very, very, very fine mesh. Finer than this, it's like eight mil. And that'll nail them. So when we pull that net in, you see, we can go and reshoot it in that corner. Because uh, that's where they just sat all along there. And then we'll catch them as well. So you're doing what's best for the lake. Now it's 
starting to rain, but there we are. So I'll get rid of this. Hopefully we'll catch some fish. This is a big sweep. 